Oh, right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rate My StarCraft, where I rate a whole bunch of normies on how pro and awesome uh, and unique their games are. They send me in games they're very proud of that they think are super cool, and I tell them if they're good or not. Uh, down here in the bottom left, this one's been sent in by... Ah, uh, that's a name I recognize from Clan XD69 Angsty. It's Shidpant. <laughs> A very creative way of uh, finding his way there around the uh, the naming blocking. It's going to be playing a TVT up against a bloater in the top right hand side. Now let's see what did Shidpan have to say here in the submission. Uh, shot me an email with this as an attachment. Said, "I am AFK." No, oh, no, you found my bases, but not all of them. And as Diva would say, "Winky face." So, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, so, so okay, it's an AFK build. All right, all right, so, so what's happened, right, is this is a build where you pretend you're not at your computer. The famous AFK build, it should never work. Uh, one of Harstam's most popular videos is, of course, he actually got it to work. Was it in two of the games? I think it was only one game, right? It was versus Goody, I think. It should never work. Like, it relies on your opponent <laughs> dropping the ball so hard. Um, essentially they come in, they see your workers mining. The whole point is you leave only 12 there. So you notice you only, you only sneak workers out really early before a scout could come. And the idea is when they come in, you want them to see, oh, you're not here. And they're like, ah, oh, this, this person's not even at their computer. They might even pull their workers to attack you. Little do they know you're secretly expanding in the corner of the map. Now, I haven't seen someone do it like this before. Shinpat is going to take not just one command center in the corner, but two... And it looks like a saving money for command center number three. There is going to be like seven minutes in the game before there's like a, a bloody a bloody barracks or factory finish for him. But you know what? I think this is kind of terrible because his opponent's not scouting. So the whole point of this is for is to trick them and for them to get freaked out and go, oh, uh, oh no. And then they, you know, let their guard down. This bloater's just sitting here doing a one base build. I mean, technically, you could say Shidpan is about to get away with the greediest opening of all time. No, no he's not. Shidpan needs like 10 more minutes for these command centers to pay off. Because each one, I mean, there's, there's no SCVs being built at the same time. Only now, starting SCVs in the corner, still hasn't built a barracks, can't turn them into orbital command centers, which is one of the best ways for them to start getting value back in terms of income. I mean, as long as Bloater attacks before the, like, 10-minute mark, I still don't think Shidpan's going to be able to hang on. It's already starting a depot down here. Of course, you need a depot in order to build a barracks, even though you don't need the depot for supply right now. Shidpan's actually starting to stack up a fair bit of money. SCV is building. Does Shidpan use control groups? Oh, wow. Shidpan does and doesn't have the main control group. So that's still sitting there as the, uh, the red herring. The canary in the coal mine, so to speak. Dude, I love it. Bloater here. What, what APM is this? 40 APM. So we're probably hanging in like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Low. I mean, this build order looks not too bad for Bloater, though. It's like keeping the money pretty low. There's a lot of gas banking up. Eh, I think maybe low gold. Gold three, maybe. I can't tell until there's a bit more action going on. Um, meanwhile, Shidpant is going to build two barracks over on the right side. Has a gas mining. He's at 27 SCVs, so he's up in SCVs right now, and I'm telling you, he doesn't need to build a depot in literally forever because he's got these command centers. He's building an engineering... Oh, he's going to make planetaries, of course. <laughs> of course! <laughs> so stupid. Now, Bloater has not scouted at all, and he's just going to be building what looks like, okay, Marine Marauder Siege Tanks and Medivacs here. Now, Bloater also has control groups, kind of funky in that it's Starport 4, Barracks 5, Factory 6, and Command Center on 0. I've never seen someone do that before. 0. That's kind of hard to reach on the keyboard, and I doubt someone with 44 APO has custom hotkeys, right? Who knows? I don't know. This is a weird one. Either way, we've got an SCV here. Is he going to... No, don't bunker rush. Don't build a bunker. Oh, my God! <laughs> Go Scout! Go Scout! Go Scout! He's like, hmm, he's going to siege the tank. Oh, my God. I've never seen someone more cautious. Oh, my God. Okay. He's like, wait a second. Ready to blunder. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, let's go to Bloater's camera. Bloater's camera. Bloat is a and keep an eye on the APM tab. Because there's a good chance Bloater just thinks the game's over and stops doing anything else, right? Yeah, yeah. 12 APM, 11 APM, zero. Hands off the keyboard. Oh, I won the game. My opponent's not even there. <laughs> well, that's dumb. Ugh. Silly way to win a game. Yeah, whatever. It's not producing at all. Kills the command center. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here comes the confusion. And now he's looking for buildings. Hey, why didn't I win? And now, okay, you're going to take a command center in your opponent's base. I guess you've already got a bunker there. Why not? What are you doing? Why are you putting units in a bunker? Okay, wait, 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 wait. The Vikings being queued. The Vikings being queued. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, 40 SCVs. Shit pants economy is roaring. Is making one one upgrades and combat shields. Um, this is ridiculous greed. It doesn't have many marines out yet, though. Only only at about six marines, and that Viking flies over here. Bloater sees it, and Bloater's coming. But Bloater has completely stopped producing in this unfamiliar situation. And the Viking's gonna go down! The Viking does see these units here. Oh, it's a real shame no planetaries got up in time. That actually would have been absolutely massive. So Bloater's gonna come in, is gonna move forward. That's move command. Okay, doesn't A move, doesn't A move. Not bad, not bad. Bloater's gonna clean up this base. Command center's gonna try and float out there. Marines are gonna come up and get destroyed. Destroyed shit pant with some impressive micro. Um, yeah, about as impressive as shitting your pants. Uh, meanwhile, the SCVs try to attack a Marauder and they damage it. Oh my god, that was a horrendous engagement. And shit pants just lost all his production. Now he's got two barracks there, but they've been spotted. He needs to rebuild on the other side of the map. Like he's floating this command center away, but he's already he's back to even SCVs right now. Luckily for him, Bloater is not batching anything up. Bloater's bringing out a command, uh, a single SCV. I'm not sure why. Just one? Are we scouting? Is that what it's doing? <gasps> he's scouting the top left, but he's not scouting there. Okay, he, oh, he, he's got good instincts, but it's not going to be enough just yet. Planetary is trying to react right now. Oh, he's going to go for a planetary. Shit pant goes forward. He has one, one in combat shields. His Marines are so much better than Bloater's Marines right now, but ah, uh, doesn't want to take that fight. He could maybe take it. The siege tanks are such a problem. Oh my God, you got to spread out or something, bro. Oh my God, the Marines. Oh. Jeez, he gets one tank. Oh, uh -huh. gets one Marauder kill. Wait, the planetary's gonna get up. The planetary gets up. He bought the time he needed. It survives. Oh my God, Shidpant here. Dude, this is this is glorious StarCraft. What can I say, Shidpant? I can see that you are a true connoisseur of true strategies. You know, you don't hear about the clickety-clack APM spam that StarCraft players are known for. Oh, I click buttons faster. It's a strategy game. No, you're a real RTS gamer who understands the power of, of hiding your strategies, you know, hidden warfare, crouching uh, crouching SCV, hidden planetary. Uh, you've got you got your planetary in the right, planetary in the left. You floated back and retook your main base, but unfortunately it got found. That's some bad luck. You see, but it was a clever idea. It was where's the last place he would expect me to go? You can tell Shidpan here is flexible. And his command center right now, big fan of Bruce Lee, is trying to be like water. He's also saying, taste my drill! And that drilly boy does win the fight one-on-one. -on -one. Wait, he's going to save it? Oh my god. <laughs> How is that an important use of your time right now? <laughs> Wait, what's his? <laughs> he pops the SCV in the command center and floats away. Oh my god. What is Bloater doing right now? Bloater has rebuilt some tanks and wait, oh here comes another army. Another army on the right side. Um walks into the planetary though, and the tank is not in range of that. Now, okay, cute, cute thing here, guys. If if this is shooting the planetary, it won't change targets to other units that are attacking it because it just thinks, hey, they're all attacking units, they're all the same priority, right? So if he actually just walks forward with his marines, Shidpan can kill that tank. And if Bloater doesn't tell the tank to kill the marines, it's not gonna it's not gonna swap targets unless the planetary dies. So let's see if Shidpant knows that. Shidpant is gonna pull the marines around to the left, trying to build more marines. Three barracks over here. Remember, one one upgrades are here, no stim. Apparently, Shidpant says no to drugs. Is thinking about coming at it. Oh, there we go. Look, look, the planetary. The, the tank is still shooting the planetary. So it's just SCVs and Marines up against Marines and Marauders. The tank does not help at all. And the Drilly Boys take one for the team, start to repair each other, and they go back to mining. They do need to repair the planetary, as that is burning. That is, that's burning. Okay, okay. He says, okay, repair that back up and then go back to mining. They will run out of gas. But that's okay. He's got a lot of Marines now. Bloater still on one base and he's saying, well, I uh, know what comes next in my build. I, uh, <laughs> I build a fusion core in an engineering bay on one base. 
Oh, wait, it's not one base. He's got an expansion, doesn't he? I forgot. And he's also built a factory and a tech lab barracks on the other side of the map. As, oh my god, and they're not control group. We've got like a cyclone and two tanks. Cute. Oh my god, talk about making your life difficult. The Marines with 1-1 one, one are going to do a little bit here, but it looks like too many Marauders there, even with the Vikings just floating overhead. Bloater's in a pretty good spot, and I feel like, you know what? Bloater probably is actually the cheeky bastard normally, right? Because Bloater's now gone and taken the top left. Doesn't know about these bases here, though. Thinks it's just this base on the right. And Shidpat, this planetary, has already killed 15 units. And Bloater... It's just going to keep going for it, thinking, well, I'm on two bases, you're only on one. Yeah, we can overwhelm you. There's a tank on the high ground still. That fusion core, I've got no idea what that's for, since there's no tech lab on the starport. But I imagine we're going to see a battle cruiser, which, by the way, non-stim marines will really struggle to deal with. But here we go. Two cyclones are in the mix. Now, obviously, you don't want to run those into a planetary fortress. What's the bet? What's the bet? He's going to run into the planetary. Look, the Marines. Shippen's like, oh, hey, baby. Do you guys want to come play over here? Come have a uh, play. It's my planetary fort. Do you want to come play in my planetary fort? It's really cool. Bloater, so far being wise, is not going for it. Is transferring SCVs to the top left. Uh, still is just building Marines and tanks up here. And Marines and tanks here. Um, Bloater has been dropping mules by the looks of it. Oh, the tank. The siege is going to happen. And look at that, Bloater. Once again, going to get the siege going there. Shidpant is in trouble. Shidpant, though. Oh, Shidpant finds the base of Bloater. Look at that. Finds the corner base. Trilly Boys versus Marines. Shidpant doing some try-hard stutter step by crew. <laughs> They're 1-1 combat ship Marines. You, you don't need to stutter step. <laughs> it's fine. They'll win. The Marines are going to try to flank in along. Once again, Marine SCB. SCB push in the tank once again. Shidpant not refocusing the tanks. And the Vikings aren't landing. So they're not doing anything in this fight. They're going to land now, but I think it's a little bit too little too late. Oh, can the Vikings win this battle? Looks like that Marauder goes down. Two Marines left and a bunch of SCVs, and looks like they will end up winning the fight once again. Dude, he has lost 45 SCVs, 59 Marines, but he's got so many extra bases. He's got that one. He's got this base landed now as well. Marines here going to do okay versus that siege tank, but for now going to pull behind the planetary bloater. He's going to siege there. Got to pull back. The planetary getting some big shots. On Did you just siege a tank there? Do you think that's out of range of the planetary? Bloater, I think you need to go back to the bloody optometrist. There's no way, dude. Click the SCVs. Click the SCVs. No. No. This is my hot tip. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. This is hitting my mic. Hot tip. If you guys are ever in this sort of scenario, you're like, well, I can't watch everywhere at once. What you do is you siege some of your tanks shooting the planetary and some out of range. So they'll automatically shoot anything that comes in to fight them. And that, that works out so well because it's, it's, it's hey, I can look elsewhere. At least some of my tanks will fight against Marines and whatnot. Oh, my God, they're taking every... <laughs> every base. This planetary is burning right now. Wait, why is this burning? Did the Marines actually do that much damage? I guess they did. They almost killed it. I... I I don't know who's winning this game. This 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 one hurts my brain, guys. Stim is now starting. It's still just Marines for now for Shidpant, who has taken way too many gases, I think, for a pure Marine style, but he's getting a lot more command centers up. I mean, if Shidpant just uh, rallies SCVs to the right position, absolutely could do it. For some reason, these SCVs just rally to the right side. Marines are going to be building on up, but the planetary is, is kind of unbreakable. Ooh, tank's getting caught out in the open over here. Shidpant finds a siege tank. Oh, you gotta get. There needs to be a tank here. Funny thing is, Shitpant knows about this base, but doesn't want to push into the bunker just yet. Meanwhile, Marauder tank. There. What is going on? An SCV just died over there. This base gets found by a bunch of Marauders and tank. None of that shoots up though, so the Marines are gonna come for them once again. A surprisingly small pack of Marines for Shitpant, but he's getting a planetary up on the left side, and he's gonna ambush these units for some reason. They've split up as well. Oh no, Bloater! Bloater. Oh my god, keeps splitting all of his units up as well. For some reason, those units split up into three groups. Here's a hot tip. I don't know if these Marauders and Tanks came out of a horror movie cast from a... a but if you're in the, the terrible situation of danger, your first thing should be, we should split up to find death quicker. You know, like, like it's not a bad horror movie, Bloater. You can keep your army together and do cool things. He's like, no, no, no. No, I will have two tanks and a bunker here. And I will have a tank there. And I will build a random starport here. Also, I will have a starport here. I will have a little Tetris piece of depots there. And a fusion core here. Oh, like, what are we even looking at? <laughs> My favorite thing is that Shidpat has been given 
so much time to do stuff with this and is still lagging by 35. So I'm like, you could not get a player who's taking longer to disrupt you and is less aware of how much you're expanding. I mean, Bloat has finally figured it out. Has a Liberator, which could siege any of these bases. They've got no real defense at them, but Bloater is just kind of walking around the map chilling. Has concussive shells into plus one armor upgrade while playing bio. We're only gonna get plus one armor. No combat shields, no stim, just concussive for the Marauders. And then we're gonna go straight to fusion core, double armory, double tank production. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Stim and one one upgrades and shields. Brutal, savage, and absolutely wrecked Bloater. I don't think Bloater even noticed. Let's go to Bloater's camera. Yeah, Bloat is just looking around the map, rallying command centers and stuff. This is pure chaos for Bloat. Oh my god, what is Bloat? Are you going triple starport PC? Is that what this is, Bloater? Please, please no. Oh my god, this is such a mess. I've never seen someone make Starcraft so hard for themselves. Why are you expansions over here? Like, can you imagine Bloat is just like, I'll click over here and do some stuff. Then I'll click over there and do some stuff. Let's try and understand how Bloater is controlling things. So control group eight, top left, control group nine, bottom middle, control group zero, top right. <laughs> Do you reckon it's always this pattern in all of Bloater's games? Like Bloater's like, yes, this is this is the the normal way I do it. It's always top right, top right, top left, bottom middle. Like that that's my normal expansion pattern. Oh my god. God, I mean, Shidban at this point has too many Marines. So with the armory up, especially if he gets 2-2, open ground, these units are going to kick the crap out of Bloater's army. But Bloater has put tanks on the high ground, has made a planetary in some of these places, right? And Marines aren't good versus either of those things. Tanks on high ground ledges, tanks behind walls, tanks behind bunkers, planetaries, all very good. And you know what? Bloater here actually finishes plus one armor, starts plus one attack. Still doesn't have stim and shields. They're the most important upgrades for your bio. So the Marine Marauder is going to be rather worthless, but Battle Cruisers are kind of the ultimate harassment unit late game. I don't think they'll do good if they just fly through the Marines, but I don't think they need to. I mean, if Bloater here starts double air upgrades, you've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, or five gases because that one's only got one worker on it. So even though the mains mind out, I actually think Bloater could do pretty good here if, if going into BCs, but instead starts vehicle weapons Aren't you going battle cruisers? Why are you making all? What is okay? There is like there is like actually a disease in the mind of low level Terran players. It is literally I will make only upgrades for units that I'm not using. Why? Why does every Terran player only like like people like sometimes I go, Pig, can you please make a video about what upgrades are good in what situations? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make that video right now, guys, and it's gonna start right here. Won't be very long. Make the upgrades that benefit the units that you're building. People go, oh, which one's... Bio, infantry. If you make an infantry, make infantry upgrades. There's kind of some important ones. Stim, shields. If you're making battle cruisers, make flying weapons. Don't make tank weapons. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't understand. What is the thought process? <laughs> how, how does, it's, it, it, you can tell this is not just me being angry at Bloater. This is me being angry at all Terrans that I watch in lower leagues because they never make upgrades that will benefit their army. Oh, 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 oh my God. Okay, Bloater is starting to get shredded by these upgrades, dude. But I really believe that Shidpant is a true noob at heart. Even though Shidpant is spamming right now, holding down like A for Marines and stuff, I'm pretty sure Shidpant is actually stupid enough to run into a wall of tanks. The name is Shidpant. Come on, you're in Clan XD 69 XD. Whoa, look at that. Moving Marines through tanks. But look at this, look at this lib. There is a lib that's gonna come in the back and siege up that main base. That's very cute. The Marines are realizing, okay, we can't freeze out. Oh, come on, Shidpant. I really want to see Shidpant through this game. Um, there's bunkers going up here and one battle cruiser. Okay, now three battle cruisers are starting. All right, I can get behind that. We still haven't made any upgrades for them, but okay, okay. Floater here is going to start blasting these SCVs. Oh my God. You know, you know what's so great about this as well? Is this, I'm, I'm actually making so much fun of these players. And at the same time, for those who don't know, I've recently started learning how to play Age of Empires 2 um, and I suck at it. And I have no idea what any of the pieces do. Even though I played the campaigns, there's like so many units in that game, so much hidden damage. 
and I'm looking at the absolute disorganized chaos as he dives. He's not even in the bunkers. No, and he doesn't have a planetary bloat who's getting wiped. I'm looking at this disorganized chaos and I'm literally seeing an echo of my Age of Empires games. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just gonna build some buildings over in this corner. Why? I'm like, I don't know, I'm just doing it. And I'm like, ah, I think they're having the, these two are having the same thought process. Like, I'm just doing things, okay? I don't know why, I don't know what. Oh my God, that mule dance spazzing out up there. But I guess Shidpan at least is making the upgrades that benefit the units that, that Shidpan is using. And that is why I think Shidpan is now winning this game quite a lot. Shidpan is also macroed up like crazy. He's up at 70 SCVs now making 2-2. Shidpan does know about most of these bases. Looks like the Liberator did get queued up. Now the Battle Cruisers still don't have upgrades. If you can actually get enough Battle Cruisers, there's always a chance, but Bloater's lost all the SCVs in the main. These guys are mining right now. Oh, Bloater's gonna try to bust a planetary. And at the same time, teleport VCs. If Bloater's going for a big kill move, some of the Trilly Boys attack the rest though. All oh, girdling that, that planetary. Mass repair. Oh my God, Bloater just throwing an entire army away. But the Battle Cruisers are finding damage up there. Meanwhile, Shidpant thinking about dropping, but the planetary is on top of it right now. There's a big Marine ball there. I think it's enough Marines to take it out. The Liberator leads the charge and says, take that one damage a shot, Battle Cruiser. Oh, that's a lot of Marines though. Oh my god, they're all gonna die! Gets one Yamato. Oh my god. Was he clicking on the planetary? He was Yamatoing the planetary. Meanwhile, the planetary's still alive here for Shinpan. Oh my god. For those who don't know, tanks have seven range. Planetaries only have six, so I forgot Unsiege tanks actually can shoot planetaries from out of their range. But dude, losing the VCs, I think that might just be it for Bloater. He's also about to get dropped the Vikings that have been randomly mixed in this whole, this whole game for very little reason are about to... Are you kidding me? Another time where the tank doesn't retarget and it dies to SCVs that time around. Oh my god. <laughs> Shidpant, the real MVP of this match that you think is so fantastic is your opponent not knowing how the AI of their tanks works when engaging planetary fortresses. I don't want to take nothing away from you. You managed to hide five bases, and then your opponent walked into a planetary four times in a row, and <laughs> it took forever to do anything behind it. But I will say, the real MVP is the number of times Bloater has attacked into a planetary fortress and thrown the army away, because it's happened so many times. And I think, honestly, I think we're starting to realize that the planetary really is, it's like the mosquito zapper in the metal leagues, right? It's the metal zapper. The planetary fortress, it's like this thing that you put there. It's this mega tanky splash damage dealing structure, which you only really engage when you have a giant army or you just kind of harass it with a siege unit or you just go elsewhere. And at high level, you just go, cool, that's a, that's a no-go area, go elsewhere. But... In the metal leagues, it feels like they just go, they get entranced by it. They go, look at that big, firm metal. Oh, look at that. It's just, it's a oh, firm. There's this big, turgid Ibex cannon on top. Ah, oh, shiny, chrome, metal, modern Terran engineer. You know, people, I don't know, they get excited, they get transfixed, and for some reason, they just walk into it and stick their hand into the planetary and they get zapped to death. Uh, meanwhile, Shidpant uses a double liberator in the top left side of the map as well, is going to start sieging on these missile turrets. You know what, guys? Bloater could totally get back in this game if Bloater just, like, actually chills because Shidpant is doing, like, almost nothing with the lead. Unfortunately, Bloater still does not attack move, except Bloater's always on move command. Oh, Bloater just put back on gas here. If Bloater can put back on gas on the and just secure this bottom side, I mean, you could totally remax. And all there is is Marines and Liberators, which is not particularly amazing. But Bloater once again sieging up a single tank here. I mean, that's kind of annoying, but... Once again, the Marines are gonna stim on over and they're just gonna say goodbye tank and Marauders. Easy gun down there. Vikings are gonna come clean this up. I do like this move from Bloto. It's gonna help protect that base there at the same time. Uh, CV goes down, one liberated falls. Come on Vikings, clear up the other one, buddy. But uh, Bloater is now building a... Th Bloater's just doing the one of everything. I'm gonna build one of every unit. Just you wait and see. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is fantastic. What do we got? Tanks, Marines. I mean, it's just, it's something like, I, I just spent all day playing um, Ladder today as Terran. I was having some really fun games. I beat some really high level players. Uh, lost to some, 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 some pretty good players too. You know, it was stressful, it was high level. I was writing down build order notes. I was trying to learn how to improve. 
But, you know, sometimes there's this thing where you take a thing almost too seriously and then you see someone else who is just, like, so fucking zen. And, like, I'm not saying that, like, I would want to be, like, like... What I'm trying to say without getting too, uh, too offensive is ignorance may actually be bliss because I honestly think Bloater and Shidpant are having the best game of their life right now. Oh, he's finally trying to break it. No, 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 instant replay, instant replay. Sorry, guys. He attacks in, kills the Thor, gets baited by it, and then tries to continue. We've been waiting for Shidpant to shit the pants, to shit the bed this whole time, and he finally does. Oh my god, the field of dead terror in there. These three siege tanks racking up 42 kills between them in that engagement. Not bad. <laughs> but Shidpan has breached the main here of Bloater. Bloater has so much production on the other side of the map. I don't know if it really matters that much. As long as Bloater can get the gases up and mining. But uh, that's that's easier said than done. Um, <laughs> because Bloater doesn't have like all the command centers on a hotkey or anything. So you can tell that when Bloater wants to queue up SCVs, he's doing the Florence here. He's going, he's clicking a command center, clicking on the minerals, queuing SCVs. Queue SCVs. He's just going around doing that. Oh, the tanks. Oh, the Marines have 3-3 three, three now. Dude, they're too powerful. Wait, they could have killed that. Shit, Pant. Why are you backing away? Don't be a pansy. He's killing this base up here at the same time. If he denies that base, he is good. Bloater right now is going to try and build another battle cruiser. And if those first three BCs actually just ran away, they just flew between the bases, picking off the economy, Shidpant wouldn't have this giant bag. The problem right now is that Shidpant does have nine barracks spread across these bases. Ooh, saves the command center. Not bad. You still, yeah, so you've got nine barracks, two there, factory and a starport. You've got three barracks there, two barracks there, and all your depots here. I think really to beat Shidpan here, you've got to you've got to like start clearing all those depots in the bottom right. Try to supply block him, because it's so it's such a weird situation. He'll probably be very slow to rebuild his depots. The Marauders and the Thor easily outgunned here. Shidpan backing away for some reason before going. I think I can win, and finally does stim forward. Um, you can tell that Shidpan's ability to judge fights uh, may be questionable. And when I say questionable doesn't really know how to finish the game uh only five of the barracks are even on control groups by the way so only the barracks on the right and the top left not these ones how many command centers four command centers hey they're all on a control group that's that's all right that's all right bloater is still trying to rebuild a factory this time up here so i think bloater has realized basically the way bloater plays is is if bloater can feel like they can get bunkers and tanks on every side of the map that's kind of they like those defensive units those defenders advantages and they also like like planetaries and hidden bases which is kind of funny because these are all great tools like this defensive position here is pretty unbreakable right oh i guess it could get broken by getting dropped on but um yeah, I mean, this is kind of cool. And then harass with the BCs. What, what, what I think is so fascinating, though, is Shidpan, by hiding at the start of the game, I think broke the brain a little bit. And Bloater kind of forgot his own lessons, which is Bloater's whole style is based around setting up these defensive positions around the map and having the opponent derp into it. But Bloater keeps being the one to derp into them. Again, another battle cruiser not being watched. Oh, no. And you know what, guys? Bloater's going to start losing depots. Bloater's the one who's going to get supply blocked. Um, Bloater, though, says, No, my command center, bad. <laughs> Shinpei tries to mine from around it. Two more BCs are building. If Bloater can just run these battle cruisers between the bases and then teleport them away when they get in trouble, like, it really is such an efficient tool. And I don't think Shinpei... I'm, I'm not, we haven't really seen Shidpant drop much. I'm not sure if Shidpant is going to know how to break this position ever. It's only three tanks and no planetaries. I, I argue, I guess it's not that hard to do. 14 kills, 18 kills. That brings it to, what, uh, 14, 18. That's 32 plus 19, 42, 51. 51 kills between those three tanks. Now, that command center will be going down very quickly. That's going to fall. Ooh, that tank on the right does get a shot off. Meanwhile, battle crews are run by Bloater. You can't just click him in and leave him. Bloater, teleport out of there, Bo! Teleport out! I'm not sure if the chat's familiar with the memes, if the people in, 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 in the comment section are familiar with the memes, but all I hear right now is Artosis' voice, um, you know, doing some story time there with one of his, like, 16 children, opening up his little book, Apes Can Play. And uh, I, I, I just don't think there's there's more fitting story time than that book for this moment. Oh, he's finally going to drop on it. He's going to break it. Okay, he's finally going to break this position. 
My god! This position here killed so many marines! Dude, he's lost 284 marines this game. But if you eventually just make enough of one unit with the upgrades for that unit, usually you can win game. Unfortunately, Bloto. Let's look at the upgrades for Bloto. At the end of this game, Bloto has Concussive Shell, Yamato, no stim or combat shields despite building bio war game. One, two bio upgrades. Despite at some point later in the game, I guess, ceasing bio and going towards a tank battle cruiser. One, one for tanks. Smart servos to allow Vikings to land quickly? <laughs> Meanwhile, we saw a shit pant with a tight, decisive, optimal strategy. Only marine upgrades and every single marine upgrade available, marines, medevacs, and just producing them and using them well. I mean, Shidpan is basically a pro gamer. I honestly just see this as an alternate opening, which might not be as effective all the time at pro play, but I think like a Euthermal or someone could absolutely pull this off. Maybe not against Clem, but probably against any other European Terran and any Korean except like maybe Maru and Cure. So I rate this as an actual uh, pro gamer potential. Uh, I think Shidpan has a lot of skill and I just can't wait to see what sponsors want to hop online and support Clan XD 69 XD and have Shidpant representing them on their roster. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rate My Starcraft. I absolutely think uh, Shidpant deserves our respect. And honestly, I'd, I'd like to see some more replays, Shidpant, so I can study some of your strategies and try them out on the ladder. I think they'll do really well in Grandmaster. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye and good night.